But first, News 4 is covering breaking news. Here at home, St. Louis Police Chief Dan Isom is speaking out about the startling YouTube video that continues to generate thousands of hits. The video shows an officer repeatedly striking a man, the officer using a baton. Was the beating excessive? At least one witness says the man was resisting arrest. Chief Isom spoke on the Charlie Brennan show on Cam Wex this morning. Brennan asked whether job stress got the better of the officer and maybe drove him too far. We try to monitor those things by, by looking at, you know, factors in their performance to see if the strain and stresses of the job are being exhibited in their performance. Um, but it's not a, an exact science. You know, you just have to try to look at those factors and see if that might be affected the officers and see if you can intervene. Chief Isom says he never condones excessive violence or excessive force, but wants to reserve judgment until he gets all the facts. Many others are already forming opinions about whether the officer crossed the line. News Force Russell Kinsall wanted to get an expert opinion and found out there's more to a story than what you can actually see with your eye. And Russell joins us live from the news in Russell. Larry, Vicky, to the untrained eye, a first viewing of that video might give easily give the impression that the officer was over the line and used excessive force. But understanding the context and viewing the video with a trained eye to know what you're really seeing can shed a lot of light on that video. To see one police officer. I sat down to watch the video with former Los Angeles police officer and current UMSL professor of criminology, David Klinger. Now, witnesses say you can't see in the video that the man wrapped his arms around the officer's legs and would not let go. Klinger says the officer cannot risk falling. Let's say that this is an individual who is trying to decoy me. He's going to grab my leg once I've got him out of the car, and then he's going to quickly spring up and try to disarm me. These things happen so quickly. Um, that people who haven't been there really can't understand how quick it happens. I'd like to show you a police baton, what it looks like and how it works, but police supply stores won't sell one to a civilian, and in fact, they tell me they don't even want to loan me one for fear of angering their customers. But let me just say this. Professor Klinger says when you watch the video and the officer uses a baton, keep in mind two questions. What is he hitting and how hard is he swinging? Yeah. He's certainly not swinging for the fences. He's not trying to bunt because he doesn't just have the baton out there, but he's not swinging through. I've seen much, much uh, more graphic, much, much worse um, videotape of officers using baton blows in ways that are clearly out of line. And witnesses told News 4 that the officer struck the man on the hands and arms, not on his head. Now, that video doesn't let you see and hear everything. It doesn't answer every question. Why didn't the officer just use pepper spray? Would that have been a better option? Possibly. The police here downtown were conducting more interviews today to come to the conclusion of their investigation. Did the officer use excessive force or not? We'll see what they say. Live downtown at police headquarters, Russell Kinsall, News 4. Russell, thank you very much. A deal could be in place that will save...